When you say Andretti, of course you think racing and you think family. Tonight in a story you'll see only here on 13, that family is now coming together, rallying for one of their own who is fighting for his life. Beloved IndyCar and NASCAR driver John Andretti recently confided to our Dave Calabro that he has stage four cancer and he wants others to learn from his own life lesson. There is peace that comes from being at home. John Andretti spends lots of time on his back porch in North Carolina. This is his quiet refuge, earned from a life in the fast lane. John raced in 12 Indy 500s and spent 17 years in NASCAR. He had an amazing career. But now, Andretti is in the biggest race of his life. Every two weeks, Andretti and his wife Nancy head to the Levine Cancer Institute, where John endures a three-hour chemotherapy treatment. Not my favorite buddy, I can tell you that. No. In January, during a routine colonoscopy, the doctors found cancer and removed part of his colon. It also spread to his liver. But now I'm a stage 4A, and there is only stage 4B, from my understanding, so I'm not really excited about that, but the good news is, is that yeah, we're still on the we're still on the side that that is um you know got a a high I think a good chance of being cured so the chemo is taking its toll he's losing weight and his hair chemo sucks chemo chemo sucks a lot I don't think anybody walks out going man this is great give me more <laughs> <laughs> one thing that hasn't changed that Andretti attitude still intact. I'm going to have skinny arms, skinny legs, and be bald. I'll be perfect. <laughs> You're ready for that. You still have your sense of humor, though, I can tell. Does that yeah. help you get through this? Yeah, I mean, uh, it is what it is, you know. I mean, you always think it's always somebody else, you know, I mean, and everything, right? Meanwhile, his family life keeps moving forward. John and Nancy will celebrate 30 years of marriage this summer, and daughter Olivia is getting married in June. John will have liver surgery just a few days later. You a point where you're like frustrated, why me? You do so much good for other people. I, I'm just wondering how you're processing this. I mean, we're, we, um, we believe in God. I mean, we, we're we not people that go out and preach it and stuff, but we are strong believers. And so I think from that standpoint, you look at it and you say, I mean, there's a plan with everything. And, you know, is this part of his plan of, you know, hey, you need to, you need to really understand what's going on. and. You know, in this stage of my life, I mean, it's, if it was going to happen, now is better. You know, I've done all my stuff. I mean, I've got to do a lot of things I love to do. How ironic. The man who has spent his life visiting sick children and raising millions for Rowley Hospital is now fighting for his life. I think looking at my situation, if I feel sorry for me, then when I go and look at these kids that we've seen at St. Jude and see Rowley Hospital for children and people that we're trying to help, how can I be, you know, I can't be down or resentful or anything. I mean, it's just, it's the way life is. And we head this way. Is this your office? His office. Back at his home, his office reflects his values. And here's my dad when he tested an Indy. That's a great picture. And, like, he didn't even know that picture existed. It's packed full of family pictures and memories. So uh, my little Amelia and Olivia. The one on the right is Jared. Last year was his first sprint car win. John Andretti is a fierce competitor. He hates to lose. He knows this race has just started. Are you scared? Um, when initially, when it all happened, no. Um, but as things progressively have gotten worse, yeah. I mean, I, I be honest, it's it's out of my control. So I mean, we're we're in it to win it. But um, you know, this is one race I can't lose because um, I don't get a second shot at it. Now, the only reason John shared his story with me, because he's on a mission. He says everyone over the age of 50 needs to get screened, you guys. In fact, look at this. Just two weeks ago, he talked me into doing it. I had waited four years, and I'm really glad I got it done. We'll explain why tonight at 11 o'clock. It only takes about two hours, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. Here I am. I survived a colonoscopy at the age of 54. So if I can do it, you can do it, too. The best part is you get lots of uh, crackers and cheese afterwards, and I'm off to destroy some cheeseburgers. So I just want to encourage you to do it. Don't put it off. 
Yeah, there's the positive to this, you guys. It's really not a big deal. It takes a couple of hours. You take this liquid that's horrible. And it clean, <laughs> cleans you out. Then you go have the procedure. But John Andretti now dealing with a huge situation right here. Thoughts and prayers with his family. Tonight, 11 o'clock, we'll talk with John's doctor, talk to his wife about why it's so important to get that screening. And that John is uh, watching to see how everybody responds to this. He wants yeah. everybody over 50. To, to, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it right. for your family and friends. I've been with you on that colonoscopy yeah. twice, brother. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know, you know what that's game. like. But well, and the prep is not anything like what people no. think it is. You know, I mean, it's gotten so much better. Yeah, it's it not really that big has. of a deal. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's not surprising that John Andretti, with as charitable as he's been oh over my gosh. the years, is, is taking this and turning this into a charitable endeavor, too. Most definitely. He's all about that. He wants to see people make that step. Don't wait. Get the, get the, yeah. get the screening. Yeah, he wants to see that so many lives are impacted yeah. by a situation. And so we encourage you to go get a screening. And when you do so, use the hashtag, hashtag check it for Andretti. And uh, he would love to see that people are actually taking action and getting this vital screening. Thank you. Know,